How to install a vessel sink on a wood countertop for the bathroom sink. That's what we're going to talk about today. If you're going to use a, a cutting board style countertop like this one, it also it has some built-in water protection from the factory, but I think we need to add some extra water sealer, some polyurethane type of sealer stain to make it uh, more protection because it's going to be in the bathroom. So the first thing you want to do before you put the, install the sink is to put a stain sealer on the wood. And you may have to do this once every year or every two years. To, to protect, just to protect the wood. There's a lot of water splashing around in the bathroom. Once you get the wood all sealed up with a polyurethane seal, this is how, the, this is how it's going to look. Your over-the-counter top vessel sink and we're going to go into detail a little in a little bit here on how we're going to secure this this uh, vessel sink how are we going to secure it to the wood right now we're just preparing the top before we take it into the bathroom and uh, make sure everything looks good we've already cut our holes in and we cut our holes in the bottom for where the pipes are going to be this is a do-it-yourself type project this is not one of these deals where you pay a contractor uh, two thousand dollars to do the job no you're going to find a countertop like this at a garage sale. Somebody's throwing it away. Your friends, your family, neighbors, giving it away to you. And we're going to make it work for the bathroom. That's what it's all about. Do it yourself. It looks nice. Even though we cut some holes in the bottom, it looks nice. So here we are in the bathroom. We're ready to attach the sink to the wood countertop. First thing we're going to do is put the drain assembly in. And that means you have to put a little bit of silicone around the bottom edge here. We're going to put silicone here and also in the inside of the sink where the other part matches in the inside. We're going to put silicone there on both sides of the hole. The bottom hole and the top hole. Put a little silicone in there. And then all you do, this, this uh, drain assembly only comes in two pieces. You put the main piece inside there. It has a rubber seal on it also. And then on the top you have the other smaller piece that screws into it. It's very simple. So that, that goes in there like that. You see it's got the threads on it. And then uh, the other piece screws on the top. And, and then also, now before you, uh, now this is how we're going to put the liquid nail. We're going to secure this vessel sink to the wood countertop by using a liquid nail at construction, construction adhesive. This is heavy duty liquid nail. It, remember, when it dries, it dries permanently. It's on there pretty good. So if you ever had to take this off, you would destroy part of the cabinet countertop. So only do this if you don't ever want to take the sink off. And there's no reason why you would want it. Once your sink is in place, there's no reason to take it off. So this is how we're going to secure it to the wood countertop. We're going to put the liquid nail on there. And believe you me, it's going to be stuck on there really good. And of course, that's the top part I, sh I showed you earlier. That's the second, that's the part that screws into the bottom drain assembly. Make sure you wipe off all the silicone. That's what I'm doing here. Take a wet rag. Make sure you get all that excess silicone off of there before it dries. Very important step. And um, this, remember, this is just a video on how to, how to secure the vessel sink to the countertop. Now, we have, I'm going to have other videos on how to, sh how to hook up the plumbing here. The plumbing is in the next videos to come. And I also have it, and you have to turn that. That's how you tighten the uh, drain assembly from the bottom. You just hand tighten that. It's got a rubber seal. And uh, I got other videos that show how I got this cabinet ready for the bathroom sink. This cabinet was not designed to be a bathroom sink. So if you're if you want to know how I took a bath took a cabinet that I found at a garage sale for ten bucks and turned it into a bathroom sink, check out that other videos. Uh, they're easy to find in my plumbing, bathroom, and kitchen playlist. If you go to my channel on the, pl the playlist, uh, I have all the videos on the plumbing videos on how to get this going for your bathroom. So good luck. Good luck on your do-it-yourself projects.